Yo, it's a slur from my boy Seal back down with another Snake Draft LC video. Today we got GGGD Sun, aka Decay, versus Dundies. Now, Dundies is on the Milotix, and GGGD Sun is on the Mambas. <laughs> I'll stop saying his full name because that's just gonna get annoying. We see two very similar teams. We got Ground Type Trapper plus Mianfu plus Pharisee plus Ghastly, and then two Filler Mons. Now, on Dundies' side, I would assume the Trap Inch, Pharisee, and Mianfu are all gonna be standard defensive. The Magma should be Scarf to have at least some form of speed control. Then, on some other form of speed control, it should be weak armor of berry juice. Volibee. It could also be a Violet, but that's just not as a common and as good of a set right now. And then, it doesn't really have a fighting resist, so the Ghastly would make sense to be Ferium. It's going to be Z-Move either way, but Ferium makes the most sense. Now, on the case side, we got Ghastly, which is probably going to be either berry juice, Will-O-Wisp, or Life Orb. Because the Z-Move is going to be on the Diglett, and the other four Pokemon should all be defensive. Just some standard defensive shit. Uh, Kabuto is going to have the Rocks. Ferris, you should have some Spikes. Then Mianfu and Spritzy are just going to be some standard of Violet boys. Now, there could be a Scarf on the K side as well. Um, Ghastly or Mianfu could be Scarf, but it just that just doesn't really make sense because he has he has weak armor Kabuto plus priority in the form of in the form of Mianfu plus a really fast Diglett and a nice defensive Backbone. So it yeah it doesn't really make sense for there to be a Scarfer. Now looking at team uh, matchup or like lead matchup, I. See, I can see the Mianfu's leading off versus each other, but we see a Ghastly from Dundee's side. Now, if it is Ferium Z, he can just hit that right here. The problem is if the Mianfu is Scarf, which again would not make sense, but if it is Scarf, that knockoff should uh, at least have a good chance to kill. It doesn't kill all 100% uh, of the time, I know that, but I don't know what the percentage is exactly of knockoff to kill a Ghastly from full if it's max attack Mianfu, but I think that's a decent chance. But again, it doesn't really make sense for this to be Scarf. If it is Ferium Z, he can just hit that right now. I basically claim one uh, on the Mianfu if he stays in, but if the cave pulls it back to Ferrisseed, which I think is his play to scout for Ferium, because it would make a lot of sense. And I don't think throwing out your Mianfu right there is the play. Like, if he loses Mianfu, he's in a terrible, terrible spot for the rest of the game. So I think Ferrisseed is the play, even if it is Will-O-Wisp, which uh, wouldn't make sense, because then he wouldn't have a Z-Mover, unless it's some secret tech Z-Move. Then it's it's a, it's at least better for the Will-O-Wisp to land on the Ferrisseed than onto the Mianfu. Now, Dundee should just attack anyway, because I don't think it's the play to just stay in and just, I guess, like, either you hit Ferium or you switch, I guess, because if you just hit, like, Shadow Ball protecting Ferrisseed, also covering the Mianfu and doing a little bit of chip, and then the knockoff comes out, that's going to do a shit ton, plus, Dundee doesn't really have a good knockoff switch in, so, if you can hit this with the Ferrium Z, that would be amazing, that would just absolutely be great. But I don't think I don't think the cage is gonna let that happen. So I think the cage plays Ferrisseed and Dundee should either Ferium Z if he wants to predict the Mianfu. Or just switch out into something. Although he doesn't really have a resist. So we could go Vullaby. But that's not really a play that covers both. So let's see. The Ferrisseed does come out. As we see this Z move, I think it's Ferium. Yep, it's Ferium. It's not some ghosty I'm on Z move. It is the Ferium as he loses that immediately, which is terrible. <laughs> that's absolutely terrible for Dundee's. That's one of his biggest ways to kill Mianfu gone. Now, now we're in for some 50-50s because Dunnies has some Trap Man in the back right there. Hard Magnemite could be a play here. Then again, the K could pull it back and make it double into Diglett, which would be a very nice play. So, I guess this is some 50-50 games. As he goes Trapinch, which is actually a great play. <laughs> I didn't even think about this, but he could go Trapinch to make sure that Diglett doesn't double in. This covers the double to Diglett because he can just pick that Diglett off. And it covers the Pharisee staying in here. And now he can just pull it back right into Magnemite. I think what the K's plays here is knockoff. Because Trapinch is never staying in on the bullet seat because it has a chance to die. Trapinch still does some work this game. I, I think Knockoff is the only play here. Let's see what Decay does. He actually bullet seats, which in my opinion is not necessarily a misplay, just not a play I would have made. This Magnemite is a huge threat with Flash Cannon Scarf, if it, if it is Scarf. So this this can put in the finest of work. And getting rid of that getting rid of that is very nice. Now I don't know if Hidden Power Fire one shots 100% uh, of the time. I know it has a good chance to, but I don't know if it's 100%. I know from full, Pharisee doesn't die. If it is a Violet, and I think from the Twinkle Tackle damage, we can see that it's a Violet, because even though it's resisted and non stat, but still a fat Z move, I don't think Barrage's Pharisee would have taken that little. I think that takes about 30, so this should be a Violet. So let's see if this HP Fire is going to be a, be a fat Eat Man or not. I guess I, I guess it could be. I think it, I think it should be a roll. I'm going to calculate after the game, as it does eat, and it can get rid of the potential. Yeah, it is a Choice Scarf, so it does just get rid of that Choice Scarf. Now Dundies can Volt Switch to make sure this doesn't get trapped by Diglett, but it doesn't really put in any amount of work anymore. You can just go back to Mianfu, I guess, because it's like the most neutral Pokemon here. Uh, you could go Vullaby as well, but that's just kind of an unplay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I even mentioned Vullaby, that's a fat unplay. 
Um, because then you just let your probably get chipped for no reason. So now Decay should just go back to Spritzy. I mean, back to Spritzy. Spritzy didn't even come out yet, but Spritzy just gets sent out. Now Dundee's, I think, fakes out into a U-turn here, because there's no way, there is absolutely no way Decay goes hard Ghastly on this, especially because Ghastly can put in some work right here. Ghastly can put in, <laughs> like, not just some work with these rocks up, especially because Dundee doesn't really have a fogger, unless the fogger is the Vullaby. Uh, with these rocks up, Ghastly can put in a fat amount of work, so I don't think you just throw it out right here, so the fake out does come out. Now Mianfu can U-turn into Ghastly, the scout for the, uh, actually no, he doesn't need to scout for shit. <laughs> I'm gonna need to scout for something, but he doesn't need to scout for shit. The U-turn comes out onto the Mianfu, which is a great play by the K, I didn't even think about this. But, uh, now that the U-turn comes out, Pharisee can't just come in for free and get up the, get up the free rocks. So yeah, that's a great play by the K right there. Um, now... Dundee goes to Volibee, then doubles the Mianfu as the fake out comes out. He try was trying to catch a Kabuto, which makes sense. But, um, yeah, obviously it wouldn't make sense. But, like, I think fake out is the only play that Decay had right there. So I think that's a slight misplay by Dundee's because obviously the, 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 like, the double trying to catch a Kabuto is nice. But there, it was pretty obvious that Decay was going to hit fake out because you want that chip on Volibee right there. I guess, uh, I was going to say, I guess you don't really have to want that chip on Vullaby because then with the next rocks it's going to put it in range of berry juice but I think the chip is overall just pretty nice and like it just chipping it and then going Kabuto in my opinion was just a better play so Dundee just tries to catch a Kabuto doesn't work out for him now it's Mianfu versus Mianfu Wars Dundee can just hit that knockoff I think what Decay should do is just go spritzy just make a safe play Mianfu still puts in a fine to work because of no fighting resist no real fighting resist on Dundee's side because I don't count Ghastly as a fighting resist because <laughs> it doesn't switch into knockoff so like, that's not a fighting resist right there. So, Spritzy comes out onto the knockoff. Now, what Dundee can do is U turn into Ghastly Scouting for Covet, because you don't want to go fast and get your Berry Juice or a Violet ripped off from you. Especially not if it's Berry Juice. I mean, if it's a Violet, it's bad as well, but, <laughs> like, if it's Berry Juice, that's even worse. So, you just U turn into Ghastly. What? The K can, the K can stay in, but I, I guess the K can stay in and just fire off a Moonblast or a Wish. Uh, he can Wish up to make sure. I was going to say, he can wish up to make sure Kabuto gets a safer entry, because Shadow Ball is still going to do a lot to Kabuto. So let's see what he does. He just fire off a Sludge Bomb, makes a safe play. Does not get the poison, so... Now Dundee has to switch out into Pharisee, I would assume just to get up to the rocks. Ooh! Ooh! That's, ooh, that's very delicious. That is Energy Ball for Tatuga and Kabuto. Very nice tech right there. That is a god set right there. <laughs> that is some really nice prep by Dundee's. I actually really like that. So now the Mianfu just comes back in here. He did... Dundee doesn't have a play here. <laughs> he could sack off the Magnemite, I think. I think Magnemite doesn't do shit this game. And you don't want to go hard Vullaby on a knockoff, obviously. Daz and Gleam doesn't do too much. This is why I think he should have held on to the Ferium. Uh, although I did say turn one, the Ferium was one of his plays. I don't necessarily agree with that now because, like, now Fer Ferium Z is just a huge nuke and would have been amazing for him. But yeah, now he has to sack off the Magnemite, which could have been useful sack fodder later. But I guess it's fine. He switches in his own Mianfu, which is interesting. But it makes sense because he wants to get rid of the opposing Mianfu's knock. Or opposing Mianfu's knock. Opposing Mianfu's a Violite. Uh, I assume Decay is just going to switch hard in the Spritzy. Dunnies could predict that the U turn and just get a free switch to Ghastly. And Ghastly still puts in some work from uh, from Dundee's side. Ghastly actually does like Ghastly Shadow Ball just kind of goes in even with his Mianfu having the Violite. So if Dundee gets a U turn, he gets some nice momentum, but he just fakes out. So he gets red right there. The problem here is that um, Decay has to wish Protect up here. And then he's going to actually just go to Pharisee and get up his rocks if he wants to. Or get up a knock onto something. Like get up a knock onto uh, Mianfu if he predicts that. So I think Pharisee did the play, yes. Now Decay can't stay in. Uh, I mean, he can't stay in. He can stay in and protect. So I think with Dundee's play, is just get up a hazard. As Decay is just going to protect here, I would assume. Because he doesn't really have another play. Nothing really wants to take the knock. He doesn't want to take the bullet seed head on. Like if he had covered, he could have... Actually, if he has covered... Uh, I think with the Covet recoil damage from the Iron Barbs, you still die to Bullet Seed if, you, if the Pharisee gets like 3 or 4 hits. So I don't think it's worth risking that. I think the K has to protect here. As he goes Ghastly, which is interesting. As Dunn goes Ghastly as well. So the hard Ghastly tells me that it's like some secret tech. I would assume HP Fire. Because why else would you switch in Ghastly on a Pharisee when you don't kill? Like he was predicting the Bullet Seed. Or at least to cover a some sort of like a hazard or something. But even if, like, if it didn't have HP fire, what are you going to do then? Then you're just going to sit there. I guess if it is Z-move, uh, which it isn't, I would assume because there's a Diglett as well. I don't see why this would ever be Z-move. A life plus De Z-move Diglett could be way more efficient. As Dunny switches back to Pharisee, I do disagree with that play. I do heavily disagree with that play. Now, 
I mean, I don't heavily like like I guess it's a fine play because he did, like he doesn't have shit for switchins. Like <laughs> I guess in in that sense, it's a fine play. I think Volibee was the better play though because it's pretty obvious that this has some tech. Now Dunnies has to scout for this HP fire anyway. Uh, he has to switch out anyway because the Shadow Ball is probably gonna kill with the defense drop. And even even if it did have that, he should have switched out here or he should switch out even without the defense drop, scouting for the HP fire. Because otherwise, why would Decay even go to Ghastly on a Ferris Seed? Like, there's, there's no reason to go f to go for that if you don't have HP Fire, uh, if you guys get what I'm saying. So, like, Dunnies should only go for Vellaby here. Like, there's no other play than just scouting for um, scouting for HP Fire by Vellaby. So, if the K is the god, if the K is a complete lord, he hits Sludge Bomb here. Honestly, I think Sludge Bomb is, like, one of his best, well, like, one of his better plays. Because there's no way you sack your Ferris Seed here. There's no actual way you sack it to hit or HP Fire or Shadow Ball. So, if Shadow Ball 100% killed there, you hit... Uh, Sludge Bomb, kill the Volibee, and you don't reveal HP Fire until later. So then Nunnies might have been, <laughs> like, if he hit Sludge Bomb there, the Volibee might have gone down, and then Nunnies might have even gone back to Ferris Seed if he didn't realize that the Ghastly came in on a Ferris Seed and probably had HP Fire. So I think Sludge Bomb was not necessarily the K's only play, but it would have definitely, like, s like <laughs> definitely just yeeted the game into his favor using a cringe word. But yeah, that's a free ass Brave Bird just picking off a kill with Volibee right here. Now he goes hard to Mianfu, which. I mean, if we can eat a Brave Bird, obviously, and then the Volibee goes down. It might even be done. He's played it just hard Brave Bird here. He might want a hard Brave Bird. Um, let's see. He might want... Hmm. Okay, so if he kills this, then if it wasn't HP Fire uh, Ghastly, Ferris could have put in the finest of work, but it probably is. Oh, I, I, I was going to say it probably is, but it most definitely is. It already <laughs> used HP Fire. He goes hard to Ghastly, predicting HJK to come out, but the U-turn does come out. So, um... I think, I think Brave Bird could have been his play here because Ghastly goes down to Diglett now. I think Brave Bird could have been Dundee's play there. I think Vullaby is not necessarily too needed because what is look at Vullaby, look at Vullaby with a d rocks damage. Then look at back at the case team. What is it gonna do? It dies to Sludge Bomb, dies to HJK. Uh, Ghastly is dead because because so there's no reason for Decay never like there's never a reason for him not to click HJK because Ghastly is dead. I think this I think Dundee's play with there was to stay in with Brave Bird. Now, I think Ghastly was a fine play as well. If he if, if the play worked out for him, he just got a free kill. But that's why I think um, this hard Brave Birding might have been the play. Because, like, mm -hmm. it, it was it was definitely a risky play. Uh, but what he did right now was a risky play as well because he just lost his Ghastly. Now he can just go to Trapinch. But this Trapinch is going to take, uh, what is it, 70? And then, uh, yeah, it takes about 70. Right, then kill the Diglett back. But now this is in Ghastly range. So Ghastly just comes in and claims. <laughs> like, Ghastly just comes in and claims one. Or Mianfu comes in and claims one. It doesn't matter. This Trapinch is just going to go down. There's no point to, in keeping this Trapinch. Now, Dunnies can go back to Mianfu. And this is where the 50-50s are going to start. Because, <laughs> yeah, this is just going to be 50-50 city. I mean, this isn't a 50-50. Dundies always clicks knockoff here. But after this, it's going to be 50-50 city. So, the Mianfu has been knocked off. Now, what do you do here? <laughs> this is this is something else. Because if you HJK into the Ghastly, you lose a Pokemon. If you HJK into Mianfu, uh, it doesn't necessarily die, actually. Um, it doesn't, the Mianfu doesn't die, and then you take a shit ton, but then uh, you could probably chip it in range of knock from here if you hit HJK. So if Dunnies gets this play right, I think he wins the game. He goes hard to Ferris and sacks that off, which is the play if he goes, yeah, he can just go Villaby. Oh, what? What? Wait, wait, let me, let me rewind real quick. Sorry for this rewind. Am I missing something? Wait. This Mianfu was at full, right? Alright, so then he goes Ferris Seed, sacks it off for no reason to switch his back. What? What is this play? Hello? <laughs> like, what does this accomplish? Like, I, I, th I thought he was going to sack uh, Ferris Seed, then go back to Vullaby to, um, to just Brave Bird here and just go hope for the Vullaby outspeeding Mianfu. Which, since Mianfu switched it in, I don't know the calcs, right? But he switched in Mianfu on Vullaby. So... I think that means he's defensive, right? I don't think he, if he is like a, f a fast boy, if he like fast offensive Mianfu, right? I think that dies to Brave Bird at least has a chance to die. So this, it, I think Dunnies just misplayed here, because like I'm I'm sorry if he didn't, but um, if he goes Ferris Seed, he goes Volibee after and just claims a kill and wins the game 100%. He just claims his kill on Ga on uh, Mianfu and wins the game with his own Mianfu. But why would you go back to Mianfu? Like, this is a misplay either way. Like, we can all agree on that, right? But, um, they're just sacking Pharisee for no reason. Unless there is a reason. <laughs> and I am completely retarded. And I just didn't see that. But, like, oh. 
dude. I am ultra retarded. He wants to sack the Pharisee to get a bit of chip to chip him in uh, HJK range. Yeah, I am retarded, actually. Um, still, don't think it was the play. But yeah, yeah I like I know the reason now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you already wrote a hate comment saying I'm trash. Uh, my apologies. He fakes out predicting the... I Actually, that was a mid -ground. Fake out was always the play, yeah. Because it covered the ghastly because you eat a hit and one-shot this back. And it also covered the uh, man for saying in, yeah. I guess the sacking Pharisee just gave... Uh, gave Dundee some chip on the opponent's Mianfu and made sure the fake out was the only play there. So now I think if you're Dundee, you hit high jump kick. I think high jump kick is the only play here. Aha, he doesn't. All right. So uh, I was going to say I disagree with that play. Oh, what the? F oh, that's not good. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, ooh, we see two of them. That is nice. I thought it was, I thought the game was over there, but I think the game's still over. Um, Actually, the game isn't over at all. This is just a big 50-50 now. So, that was a 50-50. I was going to say I disagree with the play of knockoff, but it was just a 50-50. Like, you can disagree whatever you want. Uh, like, I would have clicked HJK there, but it's a 50-50. Like, disagreeing with the play doesn't matter. Um, now, this is just a 50-50. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this. <laughs> it's a 50-50 for Dundee's. Um, uh, and for Decay as well. Like, yeah, this is... I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this. Like, you guys can do too. Um, let's see, let's just gonna see what's happening. Oh, okay, this is over. Yeah, <laughs> Lundy's loses the 50-50 and the game is over. He knocks off trying to predict the gas lead. Does not work out for him. And he just loses the game straight up here. Because, um, he can, he can kill the Manfu here, but then Gasly just revenges. He knocks off going off choke. Uh, good play. Yeah, just, you always go off choke. Uh, <laughs> whenever. You just, yeah. Whenever the chance arises, you go off choke. Wait. And he didn't have his berry juice. I was like, wait, <laughs> wasn't that a misplay? Because he could have bravered himself in the berry juice range, but he didn't have berry juice anymore. So, overall, um, unless I'm wrong, I think Pharisee then into Bullaby was the better play. Just to bravered and secure your kill. I think that was the better play. But, unless I'm wrong, like, obviously you go off of... I guess he, I guess Dundee just wanted to play it off 50-50 instead of playing off a guess. Um, I guess it makes sense, yeah. He just wanted to play it off 50-50 instead of a guess. Uh, and the guess was that the volleyball outspeeds the Manfu, so the the, the Doc Rich recording has ended. So overall, very enjoying, very <laughs> very enjoying game. Um, it's a game I got a lot of enjoyment from. That's <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say. Unfortunately, my English is terrible. So, um, but yeah, I, this game was really fun to watch. Really, a lot of 50 fifties at the end. Unfortunately, um, I think what really like already sealed the game up. Like, I didn't obviously didn't seal it up, but what really kind of like took Dundee's power away this game is just wasting the Z move turn one. Um, I was gonna say, I'm saying wasted, like, he just, like, choked it away for no reason, but no, he definitely didn't, uh, he just predicted the man for to stay in, but, yeah, overall, I think this game was really fun, uh, great game to both players here, so, I'll be seeing you with the next video, drop a like, sub to Docker, sub to my channel as well if you want mediocre content.